1,000 pound sisters star Tammy Slatton picks up Amy's kids after arrest on drug and child endangerment charges, exclusive, Amy Slatton was arrested Monday after being treated for an alleged camel bite at Tennessee's Safari Park Zoo. Reality star Amy Slatton has been released from police custody, and after Amy's arrest, Amy's sister and 1,000 pound Amy Slatton rescued her kids. Sisters co-star Tammy Slatton picked up, people learned. Law enforcement officials confirmed Wednesday that Tammy picked up her sister's two young children after Amy was taken into custody on Monday, September 3, at the Tennessee Safari Park Zoo in Alamo on drug and child endangerment charges. Officials could not confirm whether Tammy picked up the kids from the zoo later that afternoon or from the Crockett County Sheriff's Office. Amy, 36, has two children, Gage Dion, 4, and Glenn Allen, 2, with her ex-husband Michael Holtermont, from whom she filed for divorce in March 2023. Sisters Star was released on $10,000 bail on Tuesday afternoon, September 4 along with Brian Scott Lovorn, the 1,000 pound. Sources say the pair were spotted holding hands as they left police custody, picked up by Amy's brother, Chris Combs. According to the Sheriff's Department, Amy and Lovorn are both charged with unlawful possession of Schedule 1 and 6 drugs and two counts of child endangerment. Staff arrived at the zoo after a visitor may have been bitten by a camel. Crockett County Sheriff's Office spokesman Stephen Sutton told People on Tuesday that Amy was treated by doctors at the scene before being taken into custody. TMZ published photos Tuesday of Amy being treated on a stretcher by Crockett County paramedics. Sutton said that when officers arrived on the scene, they found what appeared to be mushrooms and what appeared to be marijuana in Sladden's car. Sutton claimed that officers obviously found drugs because they smelled marijuana in the car and then searched the vehicle. Want to stay up to date on the latest crime reports? Sign up for People's Free True Crime Newsletter for breaking crime news, ongoing court coverage and details of intriguing unsolved cases. People reported Tuesday that Slatton's children were placed in the care of a family member after their mother was arrested Monday. The Tennessee Department of Children's Services will now investigate her child care situation. It was not immediately clear if this family member was Tammy. The charges and allegations referenced in this press release are merely allegations, not evidence, of criminal activity, the sheriff's office said in a Facebook post earlier this week. Defendants are presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt and convicted through due process of law. Aunt Tammy Sladden came to the rescue of her sister Amy Sladden's children. Amy was taken into custody on Monday, September 2, after police were called to the West Tennessee Safari Park on a complaint that a camel had bitten a visitor. She left the scene on a stretcher and was loaded into an ambulance by paramedics. The smell of marijuana wafted from Amy's vehicle, and police eventually found what appeared to be mushrooms and marijuana. The one. Oh, 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 pound star was accompanied by her boyfriend, Brian Lovren, who was also arrested and both were charged with unlawful possession of Schedule I drugs. Unlawful possession of Schedule I drugs, and two counts of child endangerment. Bail was set at $10,000 for both. The arrest came after she finalized her divorce from Michael Holterman on September 6, 2023. Her ex-husband filed for divorce in March 2023 after four years of marriage, and they have two sons together, Gage Dion, 4, and Glenn Allen, 2. Law enforcement confirmed to officials that Tammy picked up her children after Amy was taken into custody. Officials would not confirm whether Tammy picked up the children from the zoo later that day or from the Crockett County Sheriff's Office. Officials said Amy and Brian were picked up by Amy's brother, Chris Combs, and were seen holding hands as they left police custody. Photographs of Amy's bites were released, 
but zoo owner John Conley said he doesn't believe the bites were from a camel. But it is unclear whether Amy was reunited with her children. Images showed an open wound on her leg, around the area of a Nightmare Before Christmas-inspired tattoo. A significant portion of skin had been lost, exposing bloody tissue. Scars were also visible in the open area. John has seen the bite marks and believes the wounds were not from a camel. He said it was unlikely a camel could have bitten Amy and he thought it was odd that there was no bruising in the wound tissue, John said the skin was open, meaning it wasn't an animal bite.